Here's an ad here for a cable access station for sale. Price reduced for quick sale. Act fast. Cheap. Hmm. Oh, Zip, come here. What's up, Daddy? Get my piggy bank. We're moving on up. Okay, Daddy. Wow, my own TV station. Here's my chance to give the people exactly what they want. More Daddy. I can see it now. 24 hours a day of yours truly. I'll call it DTV. All Daddy all the time. I drove here today. Daddy's car wasn't in my parking space. I wonder where she is. Hmm. Oh, look, there's a note over here. Hmm. Dear Marky Poo, I know this might come as a bit of a shock to you, but when opportunity knocks at my door, I answer it. Opportunity? What opportunity? Well, if you keep reading, you find out. I've purchased my own public access cable station. I'm sure you'll understand. By Love Dotty. Wait, there's a P.S. here. P.S. If you want the ultimate entertainment experience, tune into channel 1350 anytime, any day. P.S.S. I took Zip with me. Well, I guess I'm happy for Dotty. You know, gee, I wonder what kind of show she's going to put on. Well, whatever she does, I'm sure it'll be great. But we still have a show to do here, so let's get a start. <laughs> if you want your DTV, turn to channel 1350. Oh, man. Hmm. I guess I am a little curious. Well, let's see what's on. Let me sit right next to you, okay? In the news today from Washington, the president was unavailable for any business because White House insiders say he was glued to the TV all day, eating donut burgers and watching the new broadcast phenom, DTV.
I should check on DTV. I mean, Dottie is a friend of mine, and of course I'm interested in what she's doing. I mean, I'm not jealous or anything. I'm happy for her. Yeah, that's right. I'm happy for her. It's time for Schmoozing with the Stars, and here's Dottie! Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so excited because my guest today plays Janet Darling on the hit series Clarissa Explains It All. She's beautiful, she's blonde, and she's bodacious like me. Will you please welcome Elizabeth Hess? Oh. <laughs> welcome to the show, Elizabeth. Welcome. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here, Dottie. Oh, you look beautiful. Thank look at that you. hair. Look how uh, long it is. Oh, well, <laughs> I've had it for a few years. <laughs> Your nickname uh -huh. is Raz. How'd you know that? The writers told me. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Um, well, because I have a, a, a real weakness for raspberries. I love raspberries. We, we have a little treat for you here today. Ah! Raspberry pie. Oh, 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 oh darling, that's <laughs> fabulous. Can't be Ooh! Ooh! Oh, oh, can oh. You? oh, my oh. goodness gracious. Oh, my God. Look at I can't, I tell you, I can't get enough raspberries. Oh, my God. <laughs> thank you very much. Give her a nice hand for being on the show. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow, Daddy managed to book some big stars. I'm really happy for her. Really, I am. And here with Daddy is the star of Clarissa Explains It All, Melissa Joan Hart. <laughs> Melissa, there is a very special girl named Rebecca who would love to have your autograph. Would you give her an autograph picture, please? Oh, well, I don't have a picture. <laughs> we do. Stay tuned. Oh, well, I don't have a pen. <laughs> we do. Stay tuned. <laughs> uh, stay tuned. Try your feet. <laughs> <laughs> now listen, the name of your show is Clarissa Explains It All. Could you explain something to me, please? The Big Bang Theory. Well, it's the theory that the universe originated approximately 10 to 15 billion years ago from an explosion of a very small agglomeration of hot, dense matter. Well, that explains it. Excellent, excellent. I don't even know what half those words meant. How right! Melissa, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please give her a nice warm hand, Melissa Joan Hart. You're excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Watching Dottie schmoozing with the stars with Joe O'Connor from Clarissa Explains It All. <laughs> oh, Joe, oh, you know, look, I gotta tell you this. Tell me. You know, all of the actors on Clarissa, yeah. I really don't like you the best. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. I bet you say that to everybody. No, just you. Well, thank you. That's a woo woo, Daddy. <laughs> oh, that's really great. Thank you, Dottie. You're beautiful, baby. Oh, no, you're beautiful. No, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I can't tell you how much fun I'm having. <laughs> well, listen, Joe, you've been great at us having you on the show. Lots of success. Thank you for schmoozing with Thank the Thank you, Dottie. This has been Dottie with Joe O'Connor. Thank you very much. Well, goodbye. I've got to hand it to Dottie. DTV is catching on. All Dottie all the time, 24 hours a day. I mean, what else can she do? It's spring break here on DTV down at Daytona Beach. Party on down. Woo! <laughs> Hi, I'm Judge Dottie. And join me on The Puppet's Court every Tuesday at 8 o'clock.
Everybody loves DTV. Keep those letters coming in. <laughs> I love Dottie. Wednesdays at 8.30 on DTV. <laughs> well, I guess there's nothing Dottie can't do. I'm happy for her. Really. really. I need two new citizens for Wienerbaum. Who wants to be Wienerbaum? We got him coming in. Be careful, be careful. I got two of them coming in. All right, let's go! When we come back, we'll be in Playland. And maybe Dottie will come back. I don't know, I miss Dottie. Dottie, come back, I need you! Hello? Uh, Clyde Crash Cup here. Uh, yes. To make a speech? Uh, yes. Yes, I'd be honored. Leonardo, lay out my tuxedo. Uh, 7.30 tonight. Uh, fine. I'll be there. Just who do you think that was, Leonardo? It was only the National Association of Conglomerated Scientists. That's all. They only wanted me to make a speech tonight. That's all. Just think, Leonardo. I, Clyde Crash Cup, honored guest, speaking before all my brother scientists. Don't feel too bad about not being invited, Leonardo. I'll tell you all about it when I get home. Right here, Mr. Crash Cup. You're just in time. Okay, camera one, take it away. Mr. Crash Cup, you're on. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, honored guests, and fellow members of the National Association of Conglomerated Scientists. As I look out over this great sea of intelligent faces... Uh, pardon the interruption, Clyde Crash Cup, but this is your life. Oh, my goodness. Look. I, I can't believe it. Good heavens, oh, what a surprise. I, I can't believe it. Why me, good heavens? Come now, Mr. Crash Cup. Try and compose yourself. Sit there in the chair of honor. I, I can't get over it. My life. Uh, Clyde Crash Cup, famous inventor and humanitarian. Yes, it was in a grape vineyard in Fresno, California, that Clyde Muscatel Crash Cup was born... Signs of his first inventive genius became apparent at the age of four when he invented the wine press after catching his head in a clothes wringer. <coughs> uh, uh, not exactly. It was after I invented the wine press that I caught my head in the clothes wringer. Of course. And Clyde Crash Cup, always in quest of improvement, went on to Fresno University. Do you remember this, Mr. Crash Cup? Oh, oh, yes, yes. Uh, th that was taken at Lincoln High School, right after I blew up the science building. And now, Mr. Crash Cup, listen to this voice. A voice you haven't heard in over 30 years. I always knew Clyde would be something someday, but I didn't know what. Why, that's my fifth grade teacher. Yes, Mr. Crash Cup, here she is. Your old school teacher, Miss Carrie Jones. Miss Jones. My goodness, Clyde, you certainly turned out to be a handsome man. Besides being the dumbest kid in the class, you are also the ugliest needle nosed lunkhead I ever taught. And now you have your own television show. Do 
Oh, my goodness. Well, miracles never cease. You're certainly ugly. All through high school and all through college, Clyde knew that strong bodies make strong minds. So he threw himself wholeheartedly into the field of sports. And now, from backstage, another voice from your past. Clyde was an inspiration for the whole team. His support made the team what it was. That must be my old football pal, Bronco Schultz. Clyde! Bronco, you old son of a gun! Gosh uh, sakes, good old crash Bronco, cup. am I glad to see you. Clyde was in there even when we didn't need him. <laughs> I remember the time he left his water bucket on the field and I tripped over it and broke my collarbone. <laughs> remember that, Clyde? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the really funny oh, yes, thing. Oh, yeah. oh, Bronco. <laughs> the time I was on my way to a touchdown <laughs> and you left your bucket on the field again. <laughs> And I tripped over it and fell down again and broke my ankle in three places and didn't make all American. <laughs> Remember, Clyde? I always wondered how I could find you. <laughs> Boy, do I feel better. How's that, Mabel? I told you I'd get him. Now, Clyde Crash Cup, listen to this voice. <laughs> You can't fool me there, sir. My dog, Fido. Yes, Mr. Crash Cup. That is your faithful and inseparable companion, Fido. Here, Fido. Here, Fido. Here, boy. Did you miss Clyde? <coughs> down, boy. Down, 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 boy. <coughs> Listen to this voice, Mr. Crash Cup. My boy was always the head of his class. I was the most proud mother in all of Nebraska. Do you recognize that voice, Mr. Crash Cup? Uh, no, 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 I don't. It's your mother, flown all the way from Plainview, Nebraska. What are you doing putting me on? This is not my son. <laughs> Fly all the way from Nebraska to meet that lunkhead. I don't get that, but I will record it. Mr. Crash Cup, listen to that voice. I know that voice. That's my assistant, Leonardo. Leonardo, you old rascal. You knew about this all the time, didn't you? You made a mistake, Leonardo. That last lady was not my mother. What happened? Oh, it was your mother. And you wanted to take advantage of the free airplane trip. Of course. And now, if you will all gather round our honored guest, Clyde Crash Cup, this is your life. It has been a pleasure and a privilege to bring to the TV audience the wonderful and exciting life of Clyde Crash Cup. Love by all. meet their moms who have just been wienerized. Okay, step back. Let's see them. Jody and Annie. Okay, now this is your team. Now the name of the game is pie chart. The best way to make a pie chart is with some pies. So you're going to put the pies on the catapults and then you have to try and hit the pie charts, okay? The team who hits their opponent the most wins the game. You have 30 seconds on your mark. Get set. Go! <laughs> okay, let's see who won the game. Annie and Tamika won! 
Let me have this. Okay, our runner-up receives the silver hot dog. Our winner receives the golden hot dog. Kids, what do you say? Give the parents a special topping? Oh, no. Yeah, give it to them. Hi, Dottie. Dottie, what are you doing here? What happened to DTV? All Dottie all the time, schmoozing with the stars? Oh, Mark, that was just a phase. This is where I really belong and want to be. Really? No, but it sounded good. <laughs> Actually, I was brought up by some media mogul who wanted the airwaves all to himself. Wow, I wonder who that was. Bonnie's World! Bonnie's World! Bonnie's World! Captain Spirit! Spirit. Excellent! Party on, Zip! Party on, buddy! Extreme close-up! Ah! Ah! Hit it, Frank! Tomorrow, on the Tomorrow People, Megabyte's dad has a surprise for everyone, including Megabyte, when the original adventure of the Tomorrow People continues. Tomorrow at 6 p.m., 5 Central, only on Nick. Just on Nick. What's up, what's up? Now, stay tuned for Beetlejuice, next on Nick. Is taped in front of a live studio audience in Nickelodeon Studios at Universal Studios, Florida. Who 